member from Etobicoke North has up to two minutes to respond. Thank you, Speaker. Uh, first of all, Speaker, this is an important issue that deserves more than uh, just theatrics or uh, excessively long and uh, sort of history lessons. Of course, I thank uh, on behalf of this chamber and with reference to this bill, the MPPs from Halton, Welland, York West and Durham. We certainly welcome the support of our Conservative colleague, the MPP from Halton. I would respectfully ask him to perhaps confer with his near seatmate in order to probably at least synchronize their messaging and perhaps have a unified voice from the support from the Conservative Party. Again, I respect uh, the MPP from Welland and for his uh, heartfelt and very long uh, devotion and knowledge within the subject of labor relations. But I think ultimately we're looking at answering, for example, the question that was posed by the MPP from Durham, are we a government? Yes. And in that acknowledgement of that answer, we are stewards of the greater public good. And I say that not only to you, Speaker, but to my honourable opponent from Welland and also to the many men, men, men and women who are here from the TTC itself, that as stewards of the greater public good, knowing about the extraordinary economic impact, numbers have been quoted, the extraordinary ridership the idea of it being the third largest transport system, and perhaps more importantly, that your collective bargaining agreements expire March 31st, 2011, and an attempt was made by ministry officials, by the Amalgamated Transport Union Local 113, by the International Association of Machinists and Aerospace Workers Lodge 235, and the relevant workers from QP on February 10th, 2011, not too long ago, and an impasse was reached. And that speaker only heightened the urgency with which we in the government, as stewards of the greater public good, need to move forward with this particular legislation. Merci, Madame la Présidente.